Hello and welcome to the Treasured Page. I'm Melanie and this is our quiet crafting space. And I'm looking at storage solutions today. I'm trying to get my work desk a little bit uh, more manageable because I want to do I want to dive in and do a lot of crafts and it's starting to reach the level of where um things are <sighs> like this all over the place and um, I'm very lucky to have found some of these uh, brilliant finds. Um, a lot of the time I, I do find them in charity shops and junk shops or I'm given them from friends um, but I've been absorbing a lot of storage solutions and ideas for craft materials over the years and I think Wow, I look at them and I think, gosh, that's an amazing idea. And then I never do them. But then today I found these lolly sticks. And um, I got these originally to do gardening. They were markers for my plants and the children have used them in the past for crafts. I think they they used to glue them together. Um I like that with one behind. They used to hot glue them together and make bridges and things for the hamster. So <laughs> anyway, we've got a few left over from these other projects because they are quite useful. And I was just looking at them thinking, hmm, I've seen people wrap washi tape around them. And that always seems like a clever idea because then they are flatter and they're not these rolls that you have to find somewhere for. But I've got my washi tapes quite contained in just one uh, drawer. Oh, okay, who am I kidding? Uh, several drawers. But they all fit in there and I'm quite happy with that little storage idea. It's in a little uh, four drawers of washi tapes. Completely fine. But it's this that is the problem. It's this lace trim and all sorts that sort of um, just seems to get all around the desk. And then... I pull things from it and I think, oh, that's a nice little bit. And I do definitely like to be able to see this stuff. But unless I'm careful, it just that it happens to be a big wadge of, of uh, oh, it was a mess. <laughs> just a mess. So I've got these lolly sticks and I've got these idea, this idea, I've done one here, to bind them around the lolly stick pin them in place and I thought I'll see how long that storage solution lasts before it's all over the place but what I like is that I can see it it's there it's contained and I could I could I just found this in a charity shop recently for one pound I could put them in there and then they're quite good to travel with if you were going away for a weekend and you wanted to do a bit of crafting. You could just bind a few bits of lace. You could have three laces on one stick if you wanted. And that is so simple. A couple of ink pads ink and a, an ink dauber. What else might you need? A bone folder, a pair of scissors. And um, some glue, really. There you are. We can craft with a bit of lace. Sorted. So, obviously you could stuff that in there as well. That was, it was just showing off, really. Just an idea. Um, but that was a nice little little pouch that I found. So anyway, this, this is the idea. Now, that being said, putting that into the pouch is one idea. And, um, and then you've got to remember where you put the pouch and you've got to remember that you have all this lace. And that doesn't work for me because I'm a visual person. I need to see things. If I can't see it, it doesn't exist and therefore it doesn't get used. So my other idea was to punch a hole in the stick, put an eyelet, ignore the fact that that one's wonky, this this is for me, I'm not giving it away, but how nice is that as a little giveaway? And the other idea is you could put a little bell pin in there or maybe hang a charm or something on there and I put a bell, bowl pin, sorry, not bell, bowl pin and then pin it to something and then 
that's a nice little uh, gift to somebody or something that you might want to give away. Little pin in the back. The other idea is this uh, ring binder and that it could, let's go that way, it could slot in there, close up, have a few of them hanging on the ring like that and then you could hang it up and you'd be able to see exactly what you've got. You could even do another hole down here and let some of the lace dangle off so you could see exactly what it's like because if they're all wound up, got another one here with just some little, little bit of it on, you can't see completely what the pattern is. So you could have another bit dangling off. Anyway, I thought I'd play with that this afternoon. So um, if anybody wants to have a watch of this, that's what I shall be doing and clearing up this muddle here. So how I did it was to get the start at the bottom, hold it down with my thumb. Now the other way is to just get a bit of washi tape. Let's do that. Get a washi tape that you're not particularly keen on or don't use and just halfway across just wind it round I just want to cover up the washi tape there so we can't see that go round and round and then I'm slowly going to work my way up the lolly stick now you can get these in uh, good craft shops, you can get them at the garden centre if you're in the UK, you can buy them in places like Wilco for the, in the children's section because they use them a lot in crafts. I've seen you can get coloured ones, you can get the natural wood ones and um, yeah they are quite useful but we did end up with a, a great big pack and I thought what on earth are we going to need a pack like that for? but they were very inexpensive. You can buy them from the great big online store that delivers things to you in very short time. And you can get a pack of 50 for under five pounds. In fact, I think at the moment they're 2 99 for a pack or 3 50 uh, If you are buying them for this purpose to put your lace on or anything delicate, try and make sure that they're smooth with rounded corners. You can see in the picture. Uh, what you're buying or if you're finding them in shops yeah multiple uses I've used them for stirring paint that's why why we got them for gardening and for stirring smaller tins of paint like that just stick them in the paint and then that was a good way to mix up paint it's even that's quite cool isn't it you could if you've got your old painted sticks, you can wrap some lace around it. But yeah, we don't want to snag the lace. So the rounded corners are important. If we're getting a little bit towards the top now, we just start to come back down a bit. And then that's it. So when you're left with your end, a little haberdasher's trick is to fold it over and then pop a pin in there. And you will want a dressmaker's pin. So one with a flat end, not a colorful bulb to go through your lace or ribbon. So you don't put a hole in it or rip it or damage it. So that's that. I used to work in a haberdashery shop. One of my first jobs, Saturday stuff, I used to have to do this sort of thing, wind them all back on. So it's taken me back, a little trip down memory lane. And then, you there, you've got that there, but you can't see what it is. So I thought I'd cut a little bit, here we go, a little bit here. Um, we could just have that hanging off the end so that you could go, oh yes, that's the lace that looks like that, in which case we might want to put a hole in there and poke it through. So let's just check that that actually works as an idea before doing it. And um, just an idea to store the lace, but be able to see it. Yeah, that sort of work, wouldn't it?
maybe I think you probably want to just put a, a little blob of glue there and and um, stop that from sliding out but I think I quite like that and then another one at the top to put on the ring and then that can hang hang somewhere where I can see them all and then I go oh that's exactly what I want I want a little bit like that a little something like that and I will know where to get it and it's all stored and it's not floating around the desk likely to get flicked with paint or ink or whatever else I might be doing right good let's make a few of those so what you need for that you will have to have one of these if you haven't I'm really sorry this is the only one I can trust to not blunt or or do uh, you need the larger side three sixteenths and yeah oh and the other thing which I've just learnt to do is to mark it so you can have a look where you think the centre hole should be and let's hope because I just made it up I just <laughs> I just did it where I thought it should be not see that looks central to me so I will punch it there if I can work out which is the bigger side here we are so line it up and um, give it a big squeeze out comes the little bit of wood and who knew you could do that with your whole bunch with your crocodile this is a um this is from we are memory keepers this is their gold version i got this for christmas and um you get a little carry case and you do get some eyelets that come with it and then otherwise you have to buy them and i think the largest all you really need to know uh is it's got a, a big hole and a little hole and the larger hole is eight millimeters and the smaller hole is three millimeters and that might help you shopping for that in the uk shopping for eyelets because uh, we we don't really operate in the in the one eighth and the th whatever it is three sixteenths of an inch we we uh they are listed under different measurement types. So I'm just going to do the same here. If I can get that in there. Can you see? So that's going to punch through that if I whoop, squeeze. There we are. And then we just work out which way the front is. Because we've got the pin there. So that's the back. And then the hole punch here, get this around the right way, slots in there and squeeze. I need both hands to do that, but I think that's just me. Just a little extra support there with my hands just to be able to squeeze that. An old netball injury, don't you know? Okay, so there we are, punched top and bottom and then it can just go on the ring with this one and then I can add this through and if I wanted to jazz up the top with an embellishment I could but uh, this is just for me for my storage and going to hopefully tidy up some of these ribbons here and uh, laces really so you could have one for ribbon you could have one for lace what else have we got that could wrap around there um nice yarns or bits of wool any any um like this you know that it just goes that could be wrapped round, and then you've got it all in one place So do we like this idea? I think we do. I think that's going to work. Reminds me of sort of fishing tackle. <laughs> um, so I think I need another one in there, but that is quite a wider. That's this lace. Quite a lot wider. 
so it really wants to just be folded over i have to think of something else for that one i'm just going to glue this down here i'll probably glue the table now This glue, not sure if it, it does fabric, it's this one. All purpose glue should do. It's a silicon glue. It's a bit like Fabri-Tac, but with more time to more movement in it. No, that hasn't worked at all. Great for paper though. Great for collage, especially in these, I can't see, in these little bottles. Let's go with the... Fabri-Tac or three in one. I think I'll put a bit there as well on the stick. Well, that's the idea anyway. So I thought I'd just do a few of these and, and see how long that lasts and, as an idea for tidying on my desk. I have seen people do it with washi tape um, and I've seen them with trim and um, sort of this this is another idea that i've got for uh sort of wool wools and speciality yarns or anything that i find um i just make the cards and that seems to work out really well yeah that's worked so that's how i shall go about that and then i can see what i've got so I hope you found that this was interesting because the other idea we could do is cut off a little piece of handmade paper that's just floating about and maybe punch a hole in this. That was the smaller side. And um, pull that open tuck that on and if you had anything important or you wanted to note anything down or maybe you measured it and you wanted to say how much you've got left you could write a little note on there or you could um, write on what it was or if you were going to send this as a gift but not have it on there then that could be a nice little tag idea that you're sending somebody with the with the charm on the bowl pin I don't know what else you could have could have had hang, hang hung it on. Um, what else? Maybe maybe like a um, bulldog clip type thing. Uh, how would that work? Hanging it off of that. So maybe that maybe maybe these pop out. Do they? Oh yeah, they do. And then you can, oh right, okay. So anyway, let's look at this idea as a, as a sort of a happy mail or a swap idea. You could send that off. That's the lace you're getting. That's a sample of what you're having and you can write on what it is um, or how, how long that is. So you could say, well, that's one meter, um, lace one meter, and then a little, little charm and um, even pin it onto something. I think that's really sweet. I'm quite impressed with myself. Uh, what was I doing? Then this is the other idea. If we take that off, thread this through here, and clip back this, uh, clip like that. And then you've got, so that's just another way of maybe you're clipping that onto something. Just depends what you've got on your desk. That might just be a solution for you if you weren't aware that you could unpop these sort of clips. Um, you know, then it would be able to be hung up on. And this is the other thing. So that's that's another. One. 
these um, reels of ribbon are a very, uh, I find them really annoying because I can't always see what I've got. I have no idea how much I've got there because I can't see it. And I never use it because, you know, this is a bulky thing. How much have we even got on there? Loads, apparently. Oh, that's absolutely loads. I didn't know it was that much. Okay. Right, well, we think of something else for that wheel. That's quite fun. And then oh, I might need that. So we get another stick. Use the provided bit of sticky stuff. And um, off we go. Wrapping it round. It looks quite nice on the sticks. Much better. So you get the general idea. And then I suppose the, the ring would build up. The only thing is with this sort of ribbon is you probably may start to get a kink in the ribbon potentially but not certainly not with a soft lace and certainly not with something like a scrap scrappy bits of fabric that would be a better idea for those wouldn't it yeah maybe i'll rethink that ribbon but i definitely don't like it on the reel it's a funny ribbon anyway um how about what else have we got here this is a nice one See, it's a fiddle. It's got sellotape round it, and that's only going to go funny, isn't it, over time and leave a sticky residue on your lace, and then you've got a problem because you can't you you know right in the middle of a length of old lace. This came from a funny little shop. I say funny, obviously, it's a very serious shop. Lots of trims and things. Very pretty. And, um, oh, this lady had absolutely everything. Everything you could ever possibly want for sewing and crafts. All in one Aladdin's den. And um, so I got the lace. And she was doing a deal on, on, a, on some lace so many for a pound and things like that and you just think oh these shops they should just always be here <laughs> please don't please don't close down and I found her just as we were coming out of a lockdown situation and oh it's just heaven to be able to ponder and just be able to wander around and look at things and Look at all the things. And I think I really missed that when we were stuck at home. There's something to be said for the hunt, isn't there? The hunting down the craft supplies and looking at it, checking that it's okay. You see these things online and you think, oh yeah, that's lovely. That's a really nice bit of lace. Uh, and you buy it thinking, well, that's exactly what I want, Nita bit of lace and then it arrives and it's just made of pl plastic and it hasn't got the same feel or texture or quality to it and you would know that instantly if you saw it in the shop you'd think oh no that's uh too modern or yeah but something to be said about hunting that that little treasure <laughs> and uh, very few shops like that now where you can really go and have a good rummage so i'm just building this one up there we go and then fold it over and pin it in place and it does need to be a dressmaker's pin without the the bobble on the top and um it's just because they're thicker those pins are thicker and they seem to I don't know just they weren't going through the lace so there you go like that I like that a lot so we've got these as a possible ideas this one's very pretty but 
I am enjoying the idea that, uh, that they're going to hang on that ring. So I think that's where, where I will take this, but I did want to give you some other options. So let's move all of this out the way. So these are the lolly sticks. You can get them, uh, they're jumbo ones. You have to look for the jumbo. And uh, I think that that's going to really just be useful to me. I can't see that I would not uh, find this a great thing. Just do one more. So just lining it up. Is that the big one or the small one? That was the small one. Let's go again. On the larger. Okay. That's better. And I need another eyelet. And I could, because I do have a blue. Go for a blue. Yes. And I need to just do something on the bottom here so that I can see what the pattern is. But I'll uh, I'll show pictures at the end of, of how I end up with all of this and then we can see how long it lasts in my craft room as a good idea. But I'm pleased and it's coming together very quickly and it's quite nice to wind them around and sit there and have a little chat so let's just add it all on the ring that can come out okay that one that one this one is a nice idea so that was a good way of displaying them or giving them to people and then I put that one on there as well. Yes, why not? Let's practice. So we want that larger one. Using a different pen every time I go. And oh, a little bit hard, but not in, you know not too bad. They're only thin. And that's obviously coped with that. And you, you will probably worry about damaging your um, crocodile, but they are they are seeming to go through okay. Could even have a gold one. Just grabbing all the colours I've got. Yep, that works. Does it work? No. How about a more vintagey one? Oh, yes. See, I think I could move that down and then have something else up there. So you could have two on one stick. That would be good, wouldn't it? Oops, all the bits are falling out. We'll just stuff, shove that in there. Give it a squeeze. Oh, almost. Try again. Oopsie. That's better. Okay, and that's all you do. then that can be hung up. Yes, really pleased with that. Oh, good. There we are. Something worked out today. Something fun. So why don't you have a little go and see what you think if you've got sticks or something like this. Uh, that's great. I don't know if that would work with other hole punches. Entirely up to you. I'm not suggesting that you do or certainly be aware that you could damage your uh, equipment. But it has worked very well with the We Are Memory Keepers Um crocodile and that's this uh, i should if you've got the the two big bite one and that will work that will work just the same and have a go at punching them and hanging up or well, it could be another it could be it doesn't have to be a ring if you haven't got a ring uh you these are ring binders you can order them uh, but i i get the books 
This comes in the UK from Wilco and they are revision cards and uh, you get the free ring as well. So that's how I got that one. But you can order them. You can buy them in a bag. Uh, but it would work just as well with uh, some string. That would be cool. Uh, or you could put them in your pencil case or an old makeup bag. And then that's all neatly something you can put away. Know that you've got your laces all neatly preserved and they're not getting all screwed up and tatty in a bag. Um, especially if they're vintage, it's a nice way to store them for uh, archival reasons. Okay, guys, well, I've had fun doing this little fun uh, tidy up craft and uh, a storage solution for your lace. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope, hope you've learned something here. If you'd like to watch more videos, do like and subscribe, click that bell button and all the things you know what to do. Uh, above all else, guys, just slow down, make crafting time for you. Bye-bye now.